Oh! Oh, I'm so sorry. Here, let me help you pick that up. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I was totally just spaced out and I wasn't really watching where I was going. Are you okay? Thank goodness. I was worried I'd hurt you. Are you watching the sunset? I can see why. The view from this bridge is amazing. And the way the sunlight reflects off the water is nothing short of breathtaking. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna snap a photo. Hmm? What's my name? Niles. It's, it's Niles. Kind of an uncommon name, I know. Beautiful. What magnificent framing, if I do say so myself. Uh, well, where I come from, we don't really get to see the sun too often. It's always... blocked. Unseeable. Yeah, bad weather is definitely one factor. It's why I just like little warm moments like this. What about you? Hmm. You just wanted some time to yourself? To get away from it all? I see. Forgive me for asking, you sound really stressed. You wanna talk about it? What's on your mind? You don't wanna talk about it? Then... Would some food help? It just so happens I'm feeling kinda lonely. And hungry. Starving, actually. You wanna get dinner somewhere? My treat. In return? In return, I just want someone to talk to. Don't worry, you won't hurt my feelings by saying no. I get it, a random stranger is offering to take you somewhere. You're well within your rights to refuse. No thanks. Sure, all right. In that case, have a pleasant evening, my friend. Enjoy the sunset. Hmm? Oh, you changed your mind? <laughs> Wonderful. Come with me. Where do you want to go? Huh. Haven't heard of it. Where is it? Hmm, you might have to show me the way, <laughs> but sure, that sounds lovely. Oh, I never asked your name. Oh, <laughs> what a lovely name. Just when I thought my name was uncommon, you came along and topped me. <laughs> it's not that uncommon. Well, I've never heard it before. Everyone I've met always has really sinister sounding names like Remus, Lyaxel, Azriel. You get the idea. <laughs> yeah, it's likely pretty obvious by this point I'm not local to the area. I just moved here, actually. From where? Well, you know, I came from hell. <laughs> well, you see it. Oh, watch it! Oh. You okay? Sorry to grab you and yank you away like that, but the light was green. That car would have run you over. You are okay? Alright. I'll let go of you now. <sighs> hmm? Yeah, I, I I get that a lot. I'm, I'm like a heat magnet. Oh. I don't know. I, I just catch heat easily, I guess. My body's always pretty warm. Anyway, now that we're properly woken up, what was I saying? Ah, right. It's pretty hot where I come from. The sun never shines, the air is dry, and the neighborhood is barbaric. Can't go a single night without something or someone burning to the ground. Makes walking to work every morning an absolute chore. Am I joking? <laughs> well... That's for you to decide. Hmm? 
Wait, where are you going? Doesn't that trail lead... Well, it looks like it leads to the beach. Yes? But then why are we... Trust you? Uh... Okay, if you insist. Oh. Oh, I see now. The place you're recommending was a food cart. Well, it's not quite what I was expecting, but a meal is a meal. Oh my, they've got a large selection of food and drink. Mmm. Mmm, it looks something... Spicy? Or something hot? Maybe something chewy as well. Uh, maybe a peppered skewer with some kiwi watermelon sparkling water. That sounds really good. Do you have any dietary needs or anything along those lines that I need to be aware of? <clears throat> understood, understood. Wait right here then. I'll grab us our meal. Why don't you find us a place to eat while I'm at it? Hmm? What? I contradicted myself? When? Oh. <laughs> yes, I guess I did. <laughs> Wise guy. <laughs> okay, forget what I said about waiting here. Just find us a spot and I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm back. And I brought treats. <laughs> This is a nice spot. I hope we get a chance to see some of the stars come out. Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's entirely possible I thought your meal may have been poisoned, so I tactically acquired a bit for myself to taste test. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Here you are. I promise I wouldn't steal your food during your time of need. <laughs> Well, I've been called worse, darling. Much worse. Your words hardly wound me, but you're welcome to keep digging. Hmm. Capital. Quite creative. <laughs> Physical remarks now? You keep that up and I might fool myself into thinking I'm unattractive. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you're pretty cute when you're angry? No, 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 not in a pathetic way at all. You get so... convicted. Challenging, strong, confident. It's... incredibly hot. Oh? <laughs> but you're even cuter when you blush and hide your face. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I just had to tease you. Hey, there, there. That really meant every word of it. No need to be embarrassed, it's the truth. So nobody's ever said that to you? Do you get flirted with often? <sighs> well, I'm so sorry to hear that. I should probably warn you then, if you're going to spend any length of time with me, that I am a habitual flirt by nature. And I don't exactly intend to stop anytime soon. But you've, no doubt, noticed that by now. Hey. Are you doing alright? I know it's quite the thing to just drop on you out of nowhere, but... You seem troubled distracted. What's wrong? It's nothing. I'm sure it is. That's why it's bothering you so much. Because it's nothing. Sarcasm aside, if you need to talk or someone to listen, I'm all ears. Tell me what's on your mind. I'll listen. Of course. Have you ever heard that one of the best ways to help yourself is to talk to a stranger? I've always thought that quote was kind of absurd because you could easily meet an asshole. It's true, you can. But you can also meet somebody that doesn't know you. 
and won't judge you. Like myself. So, what's on your mind? You can tell me. Promise I won't tell a soul. No, no, keep going. Go on. Thank you for getting that off your chest, darling. I'm thanking you. On your behalf. Because it was for the best. Whether you know it or not. And you won't appreciate your own efforts. So I will. On your behalf. But seriously, I know that was hard to do. For what it's worth. I'm sorry. I know my hand is warm on your shoulder. Like I said, it does that. <laughs> but I wish you the best of luck. That you'll get through it. And that you'll press on. Life can be bitter, can't it? Unbearably so sometimes. Hell, I didn't even really know what I was doing with mine until recently. And even then, the answer changes every now and then. <laughs> oh, look at me preaching like a saint. <laughs> I'm really glad I met you. Oh! Hey look, the stars are coming out. <sighs> That's... really not as mesmerizing as I thought it would be. But hey, pretty lights are pretty lights. Well, the stars were just sort of overhyped for me. Actually, seeing them didn't really live up to it. Look, I like them, okay? They're nice. Enough. <clears throat> Sorry. My butt's kind of itchy. It's like I'm sitting on a lump. It's alright, I'll just... need to stand. There we go. Well, do you need me to walk you home? It's getting dark. We should probably say goodbye now. You'll be taking the bus? Alright. Safe travels, then. And... It was nice to meet you. I'd like to meet up again sometime. If you wouldn't mind. Sure. Would you like my number, darling? Of course. Let me write it down. And don't worry, I'll give you my real number. I wouldn't do that to you. And there. Here you are. Safe travels, darling. Have a pleasant night. And thank you again for the walk and talk. It was very... invigorating. <laughs> What are you doing walking around in the rain without an umbrella to shield yourself? You're going to catch a cold. Or worse. 
The rain snuck up on you? How dreadful. I'm sure you'll be fine. No, I'm not offering my umbrella. Offering implies I reserve you the right to refuse. I'm telling you to take my umbrella. Take it. And at least take my arm. There isn't a lot of room underneath this thing, and my entire body is a heat magnet. I'll keep you warm. Thank you. Sorry for being pushy like that. I just can't stand to see people I care about needlessly destroy themselves. Are you still unwell? Going through the same things you told me about last week? I see. You're there. I'm sorry to hear that. Where were you walking to? I'll take you there. Nowhere? You were just wandering? In the rain. That's an interesting choice. Is your home far from here? We should get you home. Okay. Come on. I'll walk you back. No, no, it's not a bother. <coughs> it's not a bother, darling, really. I just want to make sure you arrive home safe. And to be blunt, you don't look well. I'm worried about you. I don't mind. Come on, come with me. I'll keep you safe. <coughs> You noticed? Well, yes, to be honest, I'm a little sick myself. Not from the rain, though. A at least, not, not really. Oh, I just haven't had much to eat lately, is all. And it's made me terribly hungry. Well, eating is hard for me. I've had a hard time finding the right things to sustain myself recently. And it's left me feeling... drained. I know I worded that weirdly. It's hard to explain, okay? Look, I'll be alright. And you will be too, now that I'm looking after you. I'm doing this because I like you, darling. There's nothing else to it. I care about you. You're wonderful. And... Because you're the kindest stranger I've met this week. Yeah, really. So... This works for the both of us. Trust me. Uh, is this your door? Perfect. Let me pull the umbrella down. There. Wow. It's pretty cozy in here. <clears throat> Damn. I was really trying hard to hold that in. <laughs> I guess I'm just a little bit <laughs> choked is all. Nothing to be <clears throat> worries about. <laughs> Worried about. <clears throat> anyway, will you be alright now? Promise me you won't go wandering out into the rain again by yourself. Alright. Take care of yourself, okay? Please. I'm worried about you. Promise me? Okay. I'll see you <coughs> Oh, fuck me. Okay, maybe this affliction has me more than I thought. Ah. Am I... Oh, no, 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 not now. Oh, not now. Do I need to use your shower? No, 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 it's fine. Thanks for the offer, but you need it more than I do right now. Take care of yourself first, all right? Uh, <laughs> darling? I admire your initiative. I, I really genuinely do, but... 
I really don't think stepping in together would be a good idea. Even if we are both men. <sighs> well, that's very admirable that you don't mind, but trust me. I really need to go. I shouldn't stay around much longer. <sighs> <sighs> huh? I feel really cold all of a sudden. Shit. <sighs> I, okay. This is a really strange question, but please just give me a straight answer. Just trust me. Would it make you happy if I showered with you? It would? I'll go in with you, but please, don't turn around when we do it, okay? And it's not for the reasons you're thinking, I'm not shy at all, it's, I just, it's for your own sake. Please. Thank you. Alright. After you, then. Oh, it's much bigger than I thought it would be. That certainly makes this easier for the both of us. Can I just leave my clothes here? Okay. I'll be right behind you. I won't look at you, I promise. Go ahead. Let's just go back to back. how numb I'd become until the hot water hit me. <sighs> Thanks for convincing me to do this. I'm sorry that we had to end up in a position like this. Well, it's just... I like you. A lot. But I certainly didn't expect something like this to happen. At least, <laughs> not right away. We're so close to each other. In such a... exposed predicament. And I just appreciate you doing this for my sake. We're even now? Fair enough. Damn it. This hurts so much more than I thought it would. Hmm? You felt something hit your back? Oh no. No, 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 it, it wasn't my... I, I just... it was... this hidden anymore, I guess. Okay. You can turn around. But when you do, before you do anything, please let me explain. Okay? Alright. Yes. <laughs> They're real. These are my wings. And that's my tail that bumped you earlier. See? I can weave it. Hello. No, I'm... I'm not human. In your language, demons like me are called incubi. I'm an incubus. A desire and pleasure demon. Hey, it's okay. 
You're not in any danger. I promise. Swear upon my existence and any planar ties that bind me. Well, I decided to try to bind myself to your world and escape from the underworld. I succeeded, but adjusting to human culture has been hard, to say the least. The people here are a lot less dangerous than demons. I can't wear my usual attire without uh, getting arrested. And I don't have access to as many of my powers. And the only way to replenish vigor is through positive human interaction. Ah, right. Vigor. Or vigor. However you want to say it. It's like a source of magic energy I use to channel my powers. And it's like food. It sustains us. I need it to hide my demonic features, make myself look human. But I've been very low on it lately, and I had to start relying on drawing power directly from my demonic bloodline to hide my wings and tail and horns, and that ended up making me very sick. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot of positivity going around today, what with the rain, everyone's very downtrodden. Yes, depending on the type of demon, they get vigor back in different ways, like War demons, or chaos demons, get it from battle, while fear demons draw vigor from causing fear in other creatures. For me, I need to spread joy and pleasure to humans. Or at least be near them when they experience those emotions. Exactly. When I'm near a human that's content, it's like sipping water through a straw. When they're happy, it's like a hamburger on top of that. Overjoyment is like fries on the side with some dip. <laughs> and, well, then there's sex. That's like a full course meal with dessert afterwards. Hence why so many incubi and our succubi sisters rely on it so much. But, I promised myself I'd never sleep with a human without consent. I'm not like the lowest of my kind, and I refuse to be. I want to help the humans that are suffering, hence why I was drawn to you. <laughs> You're already feeding me by allowing me to be this close to you. You're doing so much already. Thank you. And thank you for not running away and screaming or stabbing me through the heart. <laughs> that would have hurt a lot. Oh yes, true story. I'm not a vampire, but stakes can still hurt a lot. <laughs> hmm? I mean, you can give me a hug if you want to, but are you sure you... <laughs> okay. Yes. You seem sure. Then I'll put my arms around you too. feel much more satiated, darling. You're so sweet. Hmm? My wings? Yes, yeah, certainly. You can touch them if you'd like. <laughs> yes, I can fly with them. They're small right now, but when I enter my true form, they can grow larger. I can alter their size with vigor if I choose. <laughs> oh yes, we can alter the proportions of our body if we have enough vigor in our system. How else would we be able to best please our mates? I'm unfortunately still quite hungry, so I can't really show this power to you right now. But trust me, you could give me a physical description of the man you desire, and I can do the rest. Oh, darling... Of course I can't maintain it forever, but I can assure you, I can be quite stimulating when I regain my powers. Prove it? <laughs> Very well. 
Here's your proof, my sweet. <laughs> Will that suffice? <laughs> it's alright, darling. It's alright. You're alright. Why don't we climb over the shower then and find some place warm to lie down for a bit? I'd best be getting back home as soon as possible. No, I'm not in a hurry. I just feel awful imposing on your privacy. You don't mind at all? Well, in that case, would you like some company tonight? I'd be honored. 